Hi, Lavana. Hi. Thank you so much for uh, really donating your time because I know you're super busy and I really appreciate this because uh, busy, busy agenda, even during COVID times. I know, it's crazy. It just, <laughs> things just keep going. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And um, I could embarrass you by saying I've known you since you were like this high and look at you now but it's really funny, like you look exactly the same I was like oh my god I remember you from Tennyson <laughs> <laughs> well that's uh very flattering but <laughs> not quite true <laughs> I you look the same <laughs> <laughs> I'm so absolutely thrilled to interview you because not only have I known you since you were this high and you've become this radiant, uh, amazing dancer, but uh, it, I, I, I think this is going to be such an interesting interview because you're both uh, an elite athlete and an artist. So you're the first in the series that ticks that box in particular. I think it's fairly unique in the uh, art space. Yeah. Um, so that's why I have three pages of questions. <laughs> but the first one I want to get to, which is the one that I ask uh, out of the gate to everyone, is uh, how has COVID affected you uh, personally and professionally? And as a dancer, obviously, it's a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Um, well, I guess it's been from March when everything kind of shut down to July, I think is when I got back into the studio. Um, yeah, it was, it was like so strange because I'm in the studio every day working, rehearsing, um, training. And um, it was, it was a weird shift to feel because initially I was like, okay, what am I going to do? This is like, I've never had like other than when I was injured but I was still doing other things and you know had a goal and and this was like wow okay where everything stopped and and it was interesting to see how much I kind of just let it go actually and and like found other things like at the beginning I was like doing you know classes in my living room all that like trying to keep moving and then it you know it just wasn't the same and so I'm like okay when would I ever have a chance of like this time to just like slow down and you know not feel pressured everyone's in the same boat and kind of just you know see what else there is what what am I interested in you know I did the whole baking thing all the <laughs> like COVID trends and um, sourdough did you do the start oh I did it I did it you did <laughs> yeah uh, <laughs> How successful was your sourdough? It, well, it took a few tries. Uh, the first time looked great, was like rock solid. <laughs> and then the second time it didn't rise as much, but the, like the taste of it was great. And so like it took a while to kind of like perfect the, yeah, the, it, it takes a long time. Like it's like a whole thing. You have to like, you know, slow down, do your thing, let it rise. And yeah. Um, so it was weird. I thought that I was going to, you know, have this whole like mental breakdown. <laughs> um, but actually like, I really enjoyed having the change of pace. Um, and it kind of made me look at, at like, and why I dance and it, and luckily I can say this now because I have been able to go back to dance and to work and creating. Um, it's given me a nice, like, change in perspective and and I've gone back to like the things that I'm actually like really interested in and all that and I think that I can have that kind of view on that time because I I have been able to come back whereas I know a lot of my friends and other artists and dancers haven't been able to get back into the studio yet so I think that's really hard um but I feel very grateful to have had that time and come out the other end and, you know, have it been um, really beneficial to um, me as an artist. Yeah. So how did your perspective on why your, your motivation for dancing change? Um, I think like not having 
like not going through the kind of you know everyday habits like yeah I don't know I just slowing down and and taking some time for myself and not having um you know the pressure of performance to produce um really like just being alone with my thoughts and and being also what was interesting is um because we haven't had any live performances the access to other artists online and seeing more Mm -hmm. what other artists and dancers are doing around the world kind of made me be like okay like that's something new or um yeah I don't know I think it's just the time and and not um some like when you're doing it every day you kind of forget about um you don't have to think as much and you and and so now slowing down I was like oh okay what what am I actually doing here Mm -hmm. um and because I, I wasn't around other dancers, colleagues, it's just me. So I, I, I had a chance to kind of, you know, work more on my own choreography and build stuff on myself and, and um, spend a bit more time in that way, um, which kind of was really different because I'm used to working with, you know, a company of dancers and teaching other dancers and relating more to other people. So I think relating more to myself uh, was a yeah a little bit like more eye-opening and yeah just a a shift which was nice. that's fascinating because obviously dance is such a collaborative effort and and you draw inspiration I would imagine and energy from everyone else and and now you're the the well yeah (laughs) (laughs) yeah 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 it's a it's a huge difference and I now being around other people I'm so like that's the thing that drew drew me into dance in the first place was just like connecting with other people's energy and the audience and like that is huge and grateful for my time alone but I it's yeah I would not um yeah trade that in for anything but um yeah it's just fascinating to to realize also dancing like it's some it's a shared art like it's Mm -hmm performing art and and you can do so much and there's really important like research and process to do on your own but like at the end of the day sharing it with another person is kind of like the the full circle of the whole experience so yeah when I was poking around uh ballet bc's um uh, website yesterday I saw an interview where they actually uh, said, and this just blew my mind, that once you did go in back to the studio, uh, you weren't allowed to touch uh, yes. because of public health orders. Yeah. And I'm thinking, oh my God, what a challenge <laughs> that must have been in dance to yeah. dance somehow without touching each other. It's, it's so, I mean, now luckily we've been... Um, allowed like we're considered like a professional um like sports team kind of so we're allowed to touch now um but it's so strange like you're just your impulses or your instincts are to connect with someone through touch and like everything you do even just you know hanging around in the studio like where dancers are such touchy people like (laughs) hugging and just like it's just so like natural for us and yeah it was really we started with a creation process and we're creating and it just to it's just so weird to not even not touch but also have to maintain that distance mm. it it was an interesting um challenge but but yeah not <laughs> not <laughs> great <laughs> so did, did it inspire any different ways of, of reinventing dance i think it definitely um at least for me made me think of the ways that you can kind of represent touch and like how Mm. yeah like how do you if you can't do something how do you represent that in a body that's not connected to someone else or like even just the sensation for yourself it it's yeah like the memory of touch and so in that way it was kind of interesting to um figure out like what's the absence of of that that uh, like what does that do for you but um yeah, I think 
structurally, choreographically, I think it's proven to be still, I don't know anyone who's like, yeah, this is great. I love not being able to touch and I'll make a whole ballet about it. Like, yeah. yeah. So we're not going to see any shows um, representing think, COVID. Yeah. I mean, I, I feel like there will be a lot and people will do the whole thing of, you know, distance isolation, which is, which is great because we need to express that. Um, yeah it's a huge thing for everyone um but definitely I think the natural instinct is to yeah yeah well I so enjoyed Ballet BC's Christmas um yeah uh, holiday video holiday dance yeah. where you actually wore masks yeah. uh, I I love the whimsy there it was yeah it was fun to do something lighter and just yeah <laughs> yeah just go into the experience of COVID yeah, exactly. as best one can. Yeah. Uh, but what is it like to dance uh, without an audience? Because you also draw energy and inspiration, I would imagine, from the energy of the crowd and, and yeah. the feedback, and you're not getting either. Yeah. Um, it's, it's at the beginning, um, I think... I, we were just also excited, like, I'm so excited to be back in the studio with, your, like, other dancers, and so, um, and we're working, and we're setting pieces, and learning new choreography, and so you don't really notice, but mm. lately, I've been feeling like, normally, there's this kind of arc, and you're working towards a performance, and there's kind of this building drive, and, and, you know, we would have small people, like, a few people come into the studio and watch and then we'd have like a full performance and now I'm starting to feel that like a little bit of like oh, <laughs> that kind of exchange um but I think now I what I feel is like the audience is um are my colleagues and the people at the front of the room the director our rehearsal director and kind of feeding off that energy um as best as I can. Yeah, it's, it's interesting. Um, it's definitely, I'm starting to feel the, the void a little bit, but mm -hmm. um, it's been a long yeah. time. It's, it's been, been a year. A, it's been almost a year. Yeah. 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 Um, and we're working towards a performance uh, on stage actually, uh, but we're going to film it. So I'm, ho I'm hoping that the feeling of the lights and costume and everything will, cr will create, I think it definitely will create a new, um, like feeling but um yeah there's no um yeah there's nothing like it yeah so this show is going to be a film that uh... yes we're, we're going to do two different pieces um and then they're going to film it and edit it and then release it online um yeah so oh, be... i'm going to look forward <laughs> to that at least people will get to see us which will yes be nice. yeah exactly <laughs> <laughs> So I'm going to go back to your uh, beginnings and uh, explore really uh, what motivated you to dance in the first place. Okay. Um, well, I think I started um, doing gymnastics. My mom put me in gymnastics and uh, I wasn't very good. <laughs> <laughs> and I was really scared of a lot of like the high beam and the bars and it wasn't, yeah. <laughs> but then we would get to the floor routines and there'd be dance in it. And I was like, I loved that part. Um, and then I, my best friend at the time, she was in dance and I was like, okay, well, I have to do that. Like, I started dancing at Arts Umbrella and I don't know, there's something about it that I just loved. And then as I got older, there was um, this professional program that there was like an after school part um, that was like a, a mini company. So you would learn choreography and like it wasn't just the regular training and there would be extra performances and so I got accepted into that and after my first year I was just like hooked I mm. I just loved well one performing was the biggest thing but I don't know it, it was just interesting to be in a group of other kids who like were so serious about the same thing and we and I don't know there's something about like our our director she she treated us like adults and so it felt really nice to be like responsible for something responsible for your work and like working together towards like a common goal and um 
also like just the dancing part, like was, we were working with different choreographers and, you know, the movement was super interesting. And yeah, I just immediately like, was like, okay, this is my path. <laughs> yeah. So it chose you. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you didn't innately have dance. Yeah. In yeah, it wasn't your stars. All yeah. 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 But oh. obviously you have a lot of passion and, and you said that was really the magnet that drew you in to have that collective passion yeah. and discipline too. It, yes. Yeah, it's true. Because in, in high school, like we, I did a half day program, like in the morning for three hours, I'd go to high school and then dance for the rest of the afternoon. And yeah, it's a, a lot of like sacrificing, especially like as a teenager, you want to like hang out with your friends and do all, you know, and like, we're like, okay, I got to go to dance for six hours now. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I, but I think, and now I was talking about this with someone else um, about like being in a company. It's the same thing. Like, it's just like, the energy like vibing off of other people's energy and like there's something so like connecting with other humans especially mm -hmm. with the world right now it's just like it's it's crazy to feel that and like working together as a group is something that I I don't take for granted like it's it's such a huge thing so you feel quite safe and yeah and yeah that's, help. that's yeah that's a nice way to yeah mm -hmm. definitely and it's not always like that in the arts because, I mean, if you go by stereotypes, especially in dance, yeah, <laughs> uh, you know, yeah. that's how it's always portrayed to us, yeah. the yeah. outsiders, as, as something very competitive and yeah. driven by ego and whatnot. Yeah. yeah, I mean, there's definitely, there's definitely that, like, it's, there's a, like, um, so many amazing talented dancers and there's only so many jobs and mm -hmm. um, definitely within I mean it's like being in a family like you have your moments you have your like there's there's drama but at the end of the day like you're you're all there for the same reason and everyone wants to see each other succeed so like yeah, a sports I think, team right you're like the Canucks yeah. but yeah. better <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's true yeah <laughs> Yeah, like but it's we, the same sort of mentality in that sense. Exactly. Like, yeah. yeah, you can't really, you can't really be successful on your own. Like, you, the, you have to, you know, the whole team has to go forward for the individual to, you know, stand out. So, yeah. It's, I never thought I was going to insert the Vancouver Canucks in this conversation. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we'll get a sponsorship. <laughs> Maybe. Why not? <laughs> yeah. 